Today is cooking with Miss Claire's Kitchen. We're doing some Great Depression cooking on here, and this is fun. I love it. Y'all know Miss Claire, right? I've done a couple of these videos already. In case you're new here, you've not seen those. We're doing Miss Claire's Kitchen. Miss Clara has a Great Depression cooking channel. And God rest her soul, she's no longer with us. But she's amazing. Everybody loves her. Everybody loves her who watches her channel. And her and her grandson made a cookbook. And I am cooking some of her recipes out of it. I have chosen one today that I have not seen. It is pasta with escarole. And y'all know my last video. I said I could I didn't know what escarole was. I could not find it anywhere. So I had to use the next best thing. And the internet said the substitution was arugula and spinach. I have needs. I found it. Holy smokes. It looks just like romaine lettuce. Ta -da! This is escarole apparently because that's what Ingle said on the shelf. I thought it was romaine lettuce. I was like, that is totally romaine. Like what? But I went and compared it to the romaine and romaine is darker green. This is lighter green and supposedly this is a little bit more bitter. We'll see. So for this recipe with Miss Clara, we're gonna be needing some tiny pasta. She said pastina. Um, I didn't have any of that. I wish I did cause they were cool little stars. So I got, what is that called? Tibetini? It's tiny too. Escarole, of course. And she also said that we need some Pecorino Romano. No way. I just can't make myself do that. As y'all seen, I didn't get that because I wasn't gonna pay that. Internet says the next best thing is Parmesan. <laughs> so we got Parmesan. Along with that, we're going to be needing some salt and pepper and olive oil. That is it. Before we get started with Miss Claire's recipe, today's video is sponsored by Earth Breeze Laundry Detergent Echo Sheets. In the beginning of the year, I told you all that I really wanted to try to lessen my family's carbon footprint. I want to try to thrift more to help the environment. And another thing that I have chosen to do is use Earth Breeze Laundry Detergent Echo Sheets. Earth Breeze Laundry Sheet Packaging is very compact, as you see here. Go to earthbreeze.com slash sfmama to get started with 40% off. Earth Breeze is easier on the planet. Earth Breeze made big, bulky plastic jugs a thing of the past, y'all. And the best part, if Earth Breeze doesn't end up being your most favorite thing of 2024, you don't have to return it. Just let them know that it's not for you and you will get a full refund, no questions asked. Earth Breeze packaging is plastic free. This is what the Earth Breeze laundry sheets look like. Earth Breeze fights everyday stains and odors, giving you an amazing clean every time. Earth Breeze looks like a dryer sheet, but it's just ultra concentrated laundry detergent. Just throw a sheet in with your laundry and watch it dissolve in any wash cycle, hot or cold. I decided to put a sheet in a bowl of water for you guys. Look how fast it dissolves. It's a matter of seconds. Thanks to Earth Breeze's flexible subscription that you can adjust, pause, or cancel anytime with no hidden fees or penalties, you save a whopping 40% when you subscribe and shipping is always free. I washed a load of whites with this. And it's still white. That's earthbreeze.com slash sfmama to get 40% off of your subscription. And this recipe, Miss Clara talks about how she used to work at the Twinkie Factory. She says, another job I had was at the Hostess Twinkie Factory. I worked there a while and only quit because it was so far away from my house. And I used to walk most of the time. It was five miles both ways, and it took forever. Imagine having to walk five miles to work and five miles back home. Lord of mercy. So sometimes I beg my cousin, Tony Lapa, I think I said that right, for his skates. And as usual, most of the time, he'd let me. That made the truck faster, but not fast enough. But making the Twinkies was a fun job. I started on the factory floor, and it was just 
And it was just like that scene. And I love Lucy. Where Lucy and Ethel were working at the chocolate factory. And the candies were coming out much too fast for them to process. And they end up stuffing them in their mouths. And their clothes and anywhere they can find. It seemed like it could have been stressful. But it was actually a lot of fun. And I guess eventually I got good at it. Because I was promoted to the coveted Twinkie Puncher position. After Hostess. I got a job in the Richardson factory where I started out on the floor but ended up in the back office. Whether I was making that long commute from the hostess factory or not, I was pretty wiped out when I got home. And Ma knew exactly how to give me some of my, my pet back with a nice big bowl of pasta with some high energy vegetable in it. Like this recipe for pasta with escarole. By the next morning, I was all revved up and ready to go. And Clara says here, Take it from me, walk when you go to the grocery store because if you don't have a large car trunk to store things, you'll be forced to buy only what you can comfortably carry, which is most likely all you need. Just think about that for a second. When we think about walking to the grocery store, we're like, no, thank you. But they had to back then. That's just another way that they survived the Great Depression. They didn't care to walk everywhere. I'm excited for this recipe. It's pasta. Pasta's good. Pasta would taste good with a dirty sock. That's a joke. It probably wouldn't. But pasta's good. So I'm excited for this. So let's get this recipe started. Now, Miss Clara says that at the same time, in separate pots, we boil the escarole and the pasta. So they're going at the same time, pretty much. But I'm using my hot plate. So I'm going to be doing one after the other. But if you make this, you can do it at the same time on your stovetop. All right, here we have some water. I have diced up the escarole, and she says to boil it. So we're gonna do that first. But don't make a mess like me. She says boil the escarole with a dash of salt and let it boil for three to five minutes or until it's wilted. I noticed that the escrow is starting to change colors a bit. It's turning a little bit more yellow. It's not boiling just yet. We're getting there. It smells like something I'm... It smells like something my mama makes. I can't place it. What is that? Hmm. I can't place it. She's boiling. She's boiled for like three minutes. Miss Clara says to reserve a fourth a cup of the escrow water. Okay. Now I have to drain this. And I want to set it aside so we can make the pasta. Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with me. Something, something happened. I'm going to boil the water first this time. Here's what the escarole looks like when it's cooked. It smells like cooked cabbage. The water's pretty much boiling. I'm going to go ahead and pour in the pasta and cook it till it's al dente. It's such tiny little pastas. It says, let's see how long al dente takes. Eight to ten minutes is al dente. It's so tiny. She's a bowling. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's been like five minutes. Probably got a couple minutes left before she's al dente. I'm gonna go ahead and call this done. I'm gonna drain all of this pasta. Okay, the pasta is drained. We're gonna add that fourth a cup of the escrow water. Add back that cooked escrow. Add some pepper. She didn't say how much pepper. She just said pepper. I'm gonna go in with a couple pinches of salt. I'm going to do four. She said a fourth cup of olive oil. That's not a fourth cup. I ran out. i got to get my other bottle. Fourth cup of olive oil. 
go ahead and stir this up. Okay, she says to top it with cheese and serve it. So I'm gonna plate up everybody's and top it with cheese. All right, this is what she looks like. I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese on top. Let's take a look at that. Looks pretty okay, smells good. How does she taste? Okay, Bray, you go first. How do we feel about Miss Claire's pasta with escarole? Mm. I love those noodles. Those How do you noodles feel about it, Ryder? Mm. It's actually pretty good. I like oh, yeah? Noodles. It is pretty good. Okay, Kai, it's your turn. Are we a bit apprehensive? <laughs> I can't be tasting it, Okay, we'll take a bigger bite. Still can't say the same thing. Everybody else, oh God, does he have brown there? It's very lightly flavored. It tastes like butter noodles. Yeah, it kind of tastes like butter noodles, but with cheese. Yeah. I like butter noodles, so. I think chicken would be good, in, but it's good by itself right now. Okay. Now, Colin, let's try it again. Since it's cooled down quite a bit. I can taste real bad the parm cheese. Parmesan cheese? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it need a little bit of salt? Yeah. We salted Colin's up. Maybe he needs a little bit more salt. He says he can't taste it. He just tastes the Parmesan cheese. Is it better? Yep, I it's better. You think it's good? Mm hmm Would you eat it again? <laughs> Not again, but I'll meet this one time. Okay. <laughs> what if we put chicken in it, like Ryder said? Mmm, okay. I have to say, it tastes like butter noodles to me, with a little bit of mmm, because the Parmesan. I think it's good. Brayden, final thoughts. This stuff is very delicious, and it's very filling. Very filling. Ryder, what do you think? Final thoughts. Very good. I like it. Brayden said it was really filling. Do you think so? It is. Would you eat it again? Yeah. Brayden and Ryder loved it. Dusty liked it. I thought it was really good. Colin, he didn't pass out, but that's no surprise, because if he's gonna have pasta he prefers it to have lots of sauce <laughs> he likes butter noodles but he thought it was okay he's eating it still he just said he wouldn't eat it again but i thought it was good Ryder and bray thought it was great if i made that in the future i think what i would do which miss claire's recipe is fantastic but what i would do is maybe boil that pasta in some chicken broth first I think that would really set it off and think it would be even better. But in my opinion, it's really good like this. It's so simple and it's so filling. It is so filling. Nobody could, nobody could finish their bowl. Dusty, did you finish your bowl? Yeah. Oh, Dusty did. Dusty finished his bowl. I couldn't. I could not finish my bowl. I was stuffed halfway through. It is so filling. So this was fun. Which Claire recipe am I going to do next? I don't know. Ooh, and she has fresh milk custard pudding. We've not did a dessert yet with Miss Clara. This might be the next one that we do. What do you think? Should I do that? Should I do the fresh milk custard pudding next? Give me a thumbs up if you think I should. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to make. I love cooking from the Great Depression, as we all know. I will see you guys next video. Remember, as always, be positive and kind and happy. And I'll see you in later. Stay Bye.